This was necessary. The last two years have been a doozy. And so this was so healing. This was so good. It just, it felt good from beginning to end. I don't know anybody, in my life at least, whose life has not been touched by cancer in some way. So this family, uh, the In Concert for Cancer family, is a very tight one. We've been together for a long time. This is the 10th anniversary show, and so it really is um, very fitting to have the music of Stevie Wonder be the focal point. In Concert for Cancer is really near and dear to my heart. My mom is actually battling cancer, and so this is something that's really close to my spirit, and I know that music is the healing mechanism in so many ways, and I know it's brought a lot of healing to my family. We need to make more awareness and get more support to find a cure for cancer. I mean, like I said, we're dealing with a lot in the world today, but this is one of the things that we need to definitely focus on. Stevie's Wonder is more than an inspiration. I like to think of his music as um, a redirector. When you're in the complaining mood, he helps you refocus on what's important, and that is loving people, and that is what we need today. Whether I'm in the musical director chair, or just a drummer, or just supporting uh, in the future, I'm here for the long haul, because I believe in In Concert for Cancer. Welcome to In Concert for Cancer's 10th anniversary celebration, the music of Stevie Wonder, featuring an all-star lineup including Mindy Abair, Tony Grant, Judith Hill, Dave Kaz, Danny Serafin, Kenny Lattimore, and Nissan Stewart. Here's Mindy A. Bear and Judith Hill to kick off our celebration of the music of Stevie Wonder.
Welcome everyone, I'm Mindy Abair, a proud advisory board member and performer for In Concert for Cancer events. I am so excited you're joining us for our 10th anniversary celebration with an all-star lineup performing the legendary music of the one and only Stevie Wonder. Stevie's music means so much to all of us. His songs affirm the power of love, community, equality, and hope. We're honored to celebrate Stevie and feel that performing his songs is the perfect way to commemorate our milestone 10th year. For the past decade, In Concert for Cancer has stood up to cancer and lifted spirits throughout the nation by sharing the joy of live music. Along the way, we've donated over $100,000 to cancer organizations that are committed to eradicating this disease and supporting cancer fighters, survivors, and their families. If you're inspired to support our work, we have an exciting way for you to double your donation. One of our donors is generously matching all donations, dollar for dollar, up to $10,000. Thank you for donating at the web address below. We look forward to the next 10 years and welcoming you to our future concert events. Keep on
I've known Stevie for a very long time. Very quick story, uh, he sang on one of my albums and I, I'll never be able to forget the experience because he came to the session and it was really a favor because you know I've known him for a while but it really was a favor, he wasn't getting paid, he couldn't afford Stevie Wonder. So he comes and he, and he basically was playing harmonica on one of these songs for a Christmas record. And he plays and it, the first take is perfect. I mean, it's absolutely golden. Me and the producer, Ricky Minor, high-fiving in the studio. We get to the end of the take, Stevie from the room, from the recording room says, nah, give it to me again. I need it again. He did 10 takes of harmonica and then he did 10 takes of vocals. Both of his first takes were pure perfection, right? But what I noticed in that thing, which is why he's so inspiring to so many musicians, is he's just not satisfied with phoning it in. Even though he's Stevie Wonder, he's an icon, he's part of the music treasures of, of the world. But even at this point in his life, he's so committed to excellence that he can't just do it once. He's got to do it ten times. And I learned a very valuable lesson that day in the studio. Say you do No much concern But not involved In decisions that are made By you Hey See we are sick and tired Of hearing your song Saying how you're gonna change Right from wrong But if you really wanna hear Of you You haven't done nothing everyone, I am so excited to welcome you to our 10th anniversary music celebration. 
Tonight we are celebrating 10 beautiful years of sharing the joy of live music and helping to raise awareness and funds for cancer discoveries, cures, and patient programs. This year we are honored to support the City of Hope and their Department of Supportive Care Medicine. You will learn about their important work in this program. This year's musical focus is very special to me. Stevie Wonder is a hero to me and so many others. His music has made such a positive difference in the lives of millions, and I greatly admire his commitment to making the world a better, brighter place. I can't think of a more inspirational artist to help us honor and celebrate our 10-year cancer fight. I would like to express my gratitude to all the extraordinary musicians performing in this year's show. And of course, we especially thank our sponsors and donors for helping to make our work possible. Thank you to our presenting sponsor, Bristol Myers Squibb. Their tremendous support over the years has truly helped power our mission. Thank you also to sponsor Seattle Genetics, DW Drums, Professional Benefit Services, Center Staging, and Volt Lights. I would also like to thank the many thoughtful In Concert for Cancer donors and production partners who have supported this year's concert event you know who you are, and so do we. We are very grateful for your generous support. From all of us here at In Concert for Cancer, thank you for tuning in and supporting this important mission on behalf of the cancer community. We know you will enjoy the show. And now, a message from this year's beneficiary, City of Hope. I'm Les Biller. I'm Sherry Biller. I'm former chair of City of Hope's Board of Directors and we are longtime supporters. An area that we care very much about is the field addressing the psychological, social, pain management, and spiritual needs of patients and their loved ones. Collectively, these programs are called supportive care. It is critically important to me because I lost my two best friends to breast cancer at a very early age. I am an only child, and these two women were my sisters. I lived and breathed this medical journey with them and their families, and unfortunately watched the devastation that happened to every one of the people in their lives. Patients who get supportive care early in their journey have shorter hospital stays and spend less time in intensive care, which reduces stress and reduces the enormous costs associated with ICU stays. Institutions like City of Hope have to choose to take on much of the costs on their own, and this is where philanthropic support can make such a powerful impact. Supportive care needs your support. This is an area where you can truly make a difference. We hope you'll consider joining us in helping City of Hope ensure that every cancer patient has the support they need Every patient, every family deserves this care.
Hey, I'm Kenny Lattimore, and I am so honored to be here with In Concert for Cancer, honoring the music of Stevie Wonder. Uh, one, he's a great friend of mine. He actually sang at my wedding, right? How, how many people can say that, right? I'm bragging. Yes, I'm bragging, right? No, I'm sorry. My mother was a huge Stevie Wonder fan, and she introduced me to his music. And one of the early songs that I remember hearing was Visions. And the message in Visions, I thought, was so beautiful for this particular event uh, because it's all about, you know, I'm thinking, gosh, this man had this dream of people being unified and being uh, one in community and loving and supporting just like in Concert for Cancer. So I thought that it was the best song uh, for me to do to just exude that kind of love uh, through the performance for this evening. So thank you for having me. Leaves. I know that leaves 
a green They only turn to brown When autumn comes around I know just what I say Today's not yesterday And all things have an end But what I'd like to Like this exists so beautiful. Or do we have to find our wings and fly away to the visions in our mind? After Chicago kind of made it, we there, the, Clive Davis threw a big party for us at Tavern on the Green, and Stevie was there, and we bonded. It was uh, before he had gotten to really do music that he wanted to do, and he was he was fighting with uh, Motown, you know, because uh, Marvin had broken through and done what's going on, you know, more about, you know, instead of singing just about love, they wanted to sing about what was going on in the world, and that's what he wanted to do. He said, I love what you guys are doing, meaning Chicago, you know, being able to do music about what, what's important to you, what's important to the world. And you know, obviously he broke through. He was at the, he was playing in Chicago theater. And so we actually hung out. I took him to a nightclub. He went to a nightclub with me and it was, so it was really a great time and he loved the band. And, I, and so the reason I picked Sir Duke is I think it's, it's a, it reminds me of Chicago. And I believe that, you know, that was an influence maybe even in writing it because he loved the band and we loved him. It was a mutual respect thing. So, you know, I can't wait to play it with you. This is gonna be fun. Under 
has a groove It don't make it in the groove But you can tell right away Left to A when the people start to move They can feel it wonder I think of like there's a saying that is happening now like it's popular now woke mm -hmm. he's been woke for a long time right. um he gets it he gets it I I can't pinpoint a favorite Stevie song I can't um, these three words definitely is a reminder to love on your people um, but, I mean, from the beautiful song written about his daughter, Aisha, Isn't She Lovely, mm -hmm. to yeah. uh, living just enough for the city. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, as, like, it's, it's so many. Oh, 
Recently, recently I lost a couple of family members, and um, um, one I lost to cancer. These three words is kind of sentimental to me because you know um, it only takes a moment to tell someone that you love them. You know, you, it, it it it's just these three words. It's just like he wrote, it's so simple, so simple, sweet and simple, like he said. The song stood out in such a way to me that when I found out I was doing this tribute to Stephen Wonder, that's the song that dropped in my spirit because it speaks to the world today and the condition that we're in and things that we're dealing with, we need love. We need love because that's the only way we're going to survive through what we're dealing with. And if we stick together, there's nothing that can stop us. These three words, here it is. Sister, 
brother, I love you. And when was the last time that he heard you say, darling, or oh, best friend, I love you. The one for whom you gave your very life. Taken in the twinkling of an eye, and through your tears, you'd ask, Why did you go when you never took the time to love him so? Stevie Wonder music and he was just always this artist that was interesting and joyous and this incredible energy and one of the first bands I got hired to play in was in college and the list of songs that I had to learn mostly were Stevie Wonder and I just had so much fun learning his music and sinking in and playing the melodies to it all and and it just it's always music that's made me happy so I chose Ribbon in the Sky. I just think it's this beautiful sentiment of love and uh, gotta play this song.
Superwoman, I want to say, number one was the first song I remember literally bringing me to tears as a kid. And when I thought about the fact that music could move someone to that much emotion, um, it was something that I just never forgot. I was like, this is what I want to do. So Stevie Wonder inspired me to be the singer that I am today. Bye. 
down But where were you when I, I needed you Last winter My love song as which is one of my all-time favorite Stevie Wonder songs I think it's such a transcendent song and a, and a message that's so powerful about love and and how love is like unconditional and it goes on forever and ever and ever and that's how the song feels and I think that it's just such a powerful song and I used to be in Stevie Wonder's band and I remember that was the last song in the set and I it was always just this moment where it just felt like like we were just levitating you know and so i um, really honored to be here tonight and to be performing that song.
Cause today I know I'm leaving But tomorrow Could make me the past But I mustn't fear For I know deep in my mind The love I may have left behind But I'll be loving you
but you know, it's an honor to, to do music for a higher cause, in my opinion. That's when, when it means the most and when it's obviously the most meaningful to play, other than for yourself. And for, so it's a great cause, um, and you know, whenever Michelle calls, I'm there. Beat you at the back door. Boy, thought I told you not to go outside. 